Hello everyone. So back to my Gaja Classic um, upgrades and tips. And today I want to talk about how, or maybe an experimental thing of upgrading the um, the pressure expel tube. So this tube on my current Gaja Classic, which I bought used, I'll show you guys really quick. Um, if you look over a certain angle, do you guys see there's a big crack on the tube? So the tube is literally just splitting um, for no apparent reasons. And it's already split all the way to here. And when it splits over there, the whole thing is cracked. And that's why I was trying to look for a replacement tube online. However, most places sell this tube for over, I think, $16. And to me, that's uh, pretty much a ripoff. It's just the stainless steel tube. So then it got me thinking if I have the same exterior di diameter and interior diameter, maybe I could just use a flexible hose. And the benefit with using a flexible hose for the Gaja Classic or the Classic Pro is um, you would never have a problem I get a repacking there. You would never have a problem to lining up this thing because as you can see right now, the tube is not properly aligned because it's cracking. And uh, so every time, if there's a higher pressure over there, it's, it's expels from here and then the water splashes all over uh, on my countertop. That's another reason I want to upgrade, not because of the crack, but because the crack has caused it to misalign. So, back to what got me thinking is if I use a flexible hose and then just extend it all the way like into the hole then that why well, should never have a problem with um, the thing misaligned and splashes all over correct and every time I can easily just pull the tray out without the second thought of removing this and damaging this because this crack I'm pretty sure it's the previous owner tried to do that with try to grab stuff out with this in there and it got damaged okay so this tube cost me only six dollars so i expanded the tube over here as you can see this is the uh, i think a three foot six foot tube uh the benefit is i could literally just put the tube over here and then even if i need to remove the drip tree if i need to remove the uh the water reservoir on the back it's not going to damage that at all and uh, this thing is so cheap even if it gets damaged it's super easy to replace but then the main thing is it actually goes inside here so whatever water you have it's going to drip nicely just directly in the drip pan instead of like over there hanging which kind of sucks um so and again this is six foot i just quickly measured i can make five of those with just six dollars of silicon tube and uh so i'm gonna cut up one and then i'm gonna put it in there and then do a shot and see if it works or not and hopefully it works so the exterior diameter is six millimeters and the interior diameter is four millimeters so that gets us the thickness of the um of the tube which is one millimeter it's the exact same spec as the stainless steel tube so same spec and also in terms of temperature resistance uh this thing resists temperatures up to i think 400 uh, degrees fahrenheit so it's pretty it's pretty up there and your machine doesn't get as hot as 400 degrees fahrenheit we're just gonna measure quickly by inserting this let me see if i can give you guys a better angle i have a feeling it's gonna work nicely so right here, so I already inserted it almost halfway there. And I'm gonna push it a little bit further just to get it situated at the top, okay? And this is the interesting part for the bottom. I'm gonna measure just slightly extending it and then cutting it. And that is our customized tube length for. And I'm gonna cut at an angle because that would probably looks kind of cool. So right here looks good. Here we go. And it's cut. So 
all I'm gonna do right now is look look at that oh my god that's so cool why did I never thought about this before look at that so now it goes fully in here and it goes nicely up there and uh, I would never have to worry about the water getting splashed all over because it goes directly into the drip tray this is fantastic and if I need to remove the drip tray I would assume it's a super easy task of just do this and I don't have to worry about that tube how nice and even if I need to remove the reservoir look at that it's not damaging that how cool is that just like the tube inside I think this is a brilliant upgrade um, even if you don't like silicone or you think it looks silly this is this works way better than the uh, the stainless steel tube that came with it and I think it is a awesome upgrade and we're gonna monitor and see if the water gets expelled from the tube over there okay moment of truth oh yeah did you see that the water gets expelled really really nicely just slowly flowing over there and into the drip tray so I think we have succeeded on upgrading our uh, drip tube whatever you call it and uh, definitely definitely a nice upgrade with the silicon tube okay so if you guys think this video is helpful, uh, please do hit the like button or subscribe. Uh, in the meantime, enjoy the espresso and enjoy the solution and enjoy your Gaja Classic. Okay, take care.